Well, hello there, and welcome to this uh, another quick tutorial. This one, and it's about uh, animating helicopters again, and uh, it's about the main props uh, on the uh, helicopters to make them actually look a bit better than they normally do in an animation. I mean, they're not going to look fantastic, but uh, it is an animation. But uh, to make them look a bit better, so that uh, it looks a bit more believable, uh, as it were. Um, just, just before I start, I'd just like to say uh, something that really annoys me is that there's plenty of tutorials online and, and some are very good and some are not so good. Uh, maybe this one too. But um, it's the ones I'm talking about, the ones I'm talking about are the ones that don't have any sound and no voiceover or anything. They just have a mouse flying around the screen and maybe some notes coming up here, what they're doing, a notepad in the middle uh, talking to you. Um, you know or they might have just have do that as well as have uh, really loud music in the background and that's it uh, for those people doing those videos stop it it's really annoying you know uh, there's no excuse for not having a microphone uh, nowadays uh, webcams come with them uh, reasonably enough uh, you can buy a real cheap one um, so there's no excuse for not doing that and maybe the person thinks their voice isn't any good but uh, everybody thinks their voice isn't any good and, and let's face it people aren't interested in your voice they're interested in what the tutorial tutorials about so uh, yeah that, that's just one thing and the other thing is that when people make these models um, they don't separate the, the rotors on them they, they more often than not they you have to get them all separated yourself afterwards I don't understand why you spend all that time making a 3D model like this and uh, not separate them uh, to be able to rotate them. I, I, I don't know. But um, anyway, thank you for the model anyway, uh, you guys, whoever made these. These three or four models I put together there. And this is a free model, by the way. This is an Airwolf wannabe. It's not Airwolf, but you know what I mean. So anyway, let's get down to the, the nitty gritty and try and make this as quickly as possible so let's get on to I've already done all the separation here and uh, pickwick them all together so let's go to the body null and tilt this um, helicopter so we can actually see uh, a little bit better on the blades okay so there's the blades there right so let's go to the main blade which would which is the big rotor blade here and let's go to uh, Yankee click on the stopwatch which gives you um, a keyframe and let's move up to and uh, I'm not sure there's a limit to the rotation time on these and uh, uh, I know there was before where you could only go I think uh, 20 seconds or something and it was just stop rotation or whatever I'm not sure whether the limitations are still there or not but I'm bringing it up to uh, I think 15 seconds you can do it with uh, this is just under 15 seconds so I'm, I've gone up to about I don't know uh, 12 seconds or something like that and I've gone on to this and now I'm going to put onto this part here of a white Yankee rotation 122 right so now that's going to spin 122 now that's plus so that's one way and minus 122 would be another way so um, let's do the small rotor now so we get up to the small rotor and I believe this is on Zulu the rotation let's click on that all the way up there and put that we're going to go plus for now maybe minus later this uh, back rotor may you may want to adjust it uh, on the amount of spins because sometimes it's a bit smaller it does look a bit different anyway so let's move back down to that one and put that to zero so now they're going to both rotate i'm not going to let you make you guys sit and wait while i uh, render this out uh, i'm uh, going to cut the uh, video every time so uh, i'll see you in a sec okay as you can see there you go that's the uh, it's rendered out uh, there's no blur or anything on it and as you can see the uh, back rotor probably spinning a bit too fast but we can sort that one out afterwards um, and it's probably spinning the wrong way by the look of it uh, as well but that's no no big deal so now I'm going to put um, After Effects motion blur on it right so what we do is we go to the element layer and click on to the motion blur and also click onto the motion blur here at the uh, top here so that um, we can actually see it so that will take some time to render so I'll get I'll be back in a second okay so there you go that's with um, After Effects motion blur on there uh, so you know you you could add um, um, directional blur on there as well 
uh, to see but I still think that that's probably um, doesn't look that great does it and I can see that the back propeller should be going the uh, opposite direction which I'll probably adjust in the next rotation right so now you've got it like that so let's just turn that off because that doesn't look very good at all does it so let's turn that off let's stop that from moving and let's go to the element layer and let's go down to render settings right it's uh, all closed up there but let's go to render settings there and go down to motion blur right if you go along to motion blur right you'll see that it's got comp settings it's got the comp settings there and uh, what you want to do is click on that and turn it on right now you turn it on and now you've got um, motion blur samples is six now I'm going to change that to 54 right 54 I'm going to keep the shutter angle the same all right and now I'm going to render that out and uh, I'll get back to you and we'll take a look at it and see what it looks like okay so there you go that's with the blur on set at those levels um, that's 122 rotation I took the uh, liberty to change the back rotor to going into the minus uh, instead of the plus so I, I minus that and as you can see maybe the back rotor could be turned down rotation wise you could turn that down um, but that, that doesn't look too bad depending upon what angle the uh, helicopter is at but that looks not bad you know that looks a lot better than the blur so you I've got it on 50 <coughs> 54 excuse me but you can change it you know these are just sort of the starting numbers right but they look that doesn't look too bad at all you can make it more more blurry less blurry that sort of thing but that's the starting figures 54 and 122 uh, so you can start with those figures now just to mention that um, you've got this turned on if you turn it um, just off and then you want to use uh, motion blur after effects motion blur on that layer it won't work because you have to go up here to motion blur and uh, element uh, 3d and change it to comp settings and then the uh, after effects motion blur will work i'm saying that because it happened to me i wonder why the uh, after effects uh, thing didn't work so what you want to do here is because it takes such a long time to render and it does take a long time to render you want to be able to animate your helicopter by just turning the motion blur off and turning the rotation off taking it away and then animate your helicopter wherever you've got to animate it or render it out until you get it to what you think is about right and think it's going to be okay and then you can turn your motion blur on and your rotation on and uh, render it out and see what it looks like and of course it won't be right obviously but uh, it's no good rendering it on with the motion blur on every time until you get it right so that's 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 um, there I hope it's helped you out a little bit um, yeah I'm glad I found this uh, motion blur thing uh, in video copilot's thing uh, I never really used it a lot much but uh, it certainly uh, certainly does a fairly good job so uh, yeah thanks uh, anything else you'd like to know uh, just let me know and uh, I'll try and help you so yeah take it easy and uh, let's see some of those helicopter videos uh, out there bye bye